When you think of five axis, do you think of this or this? Does this look like a five axis part to you? We want to change your mind about five axis. We want to change the way you think about what a five axis part really is. Take a look at this part. It's a classic example of what I'm talking about. Think about how you would make this part. How many setups does it require? If you only have a three axis mill, you've got to relocate this part four times to complete it. Each orientation of this part has features with critical tolerances that relate to features on other sides of the part. Each time I relocate it, I have another chance of making a mistake. With four setups, I have four chances at scrap. I waste a lot of time running parts this way. Cycle time really adds up when I have to recall cutting tools used in a previous operation. We're going to show you how multi-axis machining techniques took this part from four setups to two. The big advantage is that we only relocate this part once when machining finished features. Now I showed you how this was done in a three-axis setup. Now let me show you how this is done in our five-axis setup. I prepared the material because I'm using a dovetail fixture in my first operation. Cutting the dovetail shape and locating slot allows me to securely clamp the part using the least amount of material possible. I'm only cutting an eighth of an inch deep. The first operation is on the dovetail fixture on my two axis rotary table. Now I can cut features on five sides of this part. The last operation removes the dovetail and finishes features on the sixth side of the part. 5-axis allows you to process jobs with fewer setups, increased accuracy, shorter cycle times, and less scrap. When we compare side by side, I shortened the cycle time by 21% using my 5-axis setup. The rest of this video series will focus on four main things you need to do to be successful. The first is configuration. What type of machine and rotary product combination is right for your application or which gives you the versatility you need for success? The second consideration is work holding. How will you hold the workpiece to present it to the machine spindle? In most cases, a standard mill vise will be inadequate for a number of reasons and we'll discuss all those details. The third is tooling. This mainly refers to tool holders. A standard length welded style tool holder is often not practical or even possible in five axis machining. We'll go in depth on tool holders to help you make the best choices when tooling up your five axis machine. Finally, and most critically, programming. You really need a cam system to program effectively and efficiently at more than one angle. The added benefit to programming in a cam system is that most provide full verification you can import a machine model with kinematics into the system and verify that you don't have a collision with a tool holder or your work holding or something else. Haas Automation's very first product 34 years ago was a fourth axis indexer designed to integrate with milling machines. So we know about multi-axis machining, but we also know for people with little or no experience, it can seem like there's a lot of barriers. We put together this video series to help you break down those perceived barriers. Trust me, it's not as difficult as it seems. Don't fear five axes. <laughs>